Deep in its core, the star is fighting a constant battle against its own gravity. As it desperately tries to stop itself collapsing under its own weight, new elements are made in a sequence of separate stages. Stage one is after all the hydrogen has fused to helium in the core. And at that point, there's no more fusion, and there's no more pressure, and very quickly, the star and the core will start to collapse, leaving, uh, well, a shell of hydrogen and helium behind. Beneath this shell, as the core collapses, its temperature rises again until at 100 million degrees, stage two starts, and helium nuclei start to fuse together. The fusion of helium in the core releases more energy, and that halts the collapse. But it also produces two elements that are vital for life. Carbon and oxygen. Now, compared to the lifetime of a star, the creation process of carbon and oxygen is over in the blink of an eye, because in only about a million years, the supply of helium in the core runs out. And then for stars as massive as the sun, the fusion process stops, because there just isn't enough gravitational energy to squash the core anymore and reinitiate fusion. But for stars the size of Betelgeuse, the fusion process can continue. When the helium runs out, gravity takes over again, and the collapse continues, leaving a layer of carbon and oxygen. And the temperature rises once more, launching stage three, in which carbon fuses into magnesium, neon, sodium, and aluminium. And so it goes on, core collapse, followed by the next stage of fusion to create more elements. Each stage is hotter and shorter than the last. And eventually, in a final stage that lasts only a couple of days, the heart of the star is transformed into almost pure iron, whose chemical symbol is Fe. This is where the fusion process stops. The core is now a solid ball of those elements, stacked on top of each other in layers. On the outside, there's a shell of hydrogen. Beneath it, a layer of helium. Then carbon and oxygen, and the other elements that the star has made in its lifetime, all the way down to the very heart of the star. And once that has fused into solid iron, the star can no longer release energy through fusion reactions. Then there's only one thing that can happen. It will collapse under the force of its own gravity. <laughs> 